G'day guys, Billy here from LostTreasure.com.au Right guys, I'm just walking around the edge of Lake Dunbiong looking for any bottles. Pretty hard to come across. Anyway, I thought I saw this piece of bark. So we might as well see what's living under there, eh? Might be a lizard, spider, scorpion, moth. No, nothing on that one guys, just a few spider webs. Guys, this is a beautiful acacia species, a wattle, so I'll show you what the flowers look like. Anyway, we'll look under here. Bound to be something here. Right. Webs. Not no luck. And this one here, fellows, this is another acacia species or wattle species. That is native to my area. Oh, they're beautiful colours, beautiful fluffy yellow flowers. So we'll take a photo and you can see it. So just here guys, you can just see a cocoon. Just taking a photo of her and just up there there's some top oh shit. Oh well. And just a bit of tree fungi growing off this Acacia species, guys. You can just see right here, fellas, this is what termites and woodworms and probably other in wood eating insects do underneath the bark. This tree's actually dead. They'll go along. Just like Pac-Man and eat themselves away into like little mazes. It's pretty amazing. Just lifted up the bark. So this is all kind of fresh because I've just lifted up this bark and here's some dry stuff here. And this stuff here, guys, is termite poo. This is all the leftovers from what they chew up on that wood. All there. So you can just see it right here, folds of it.
I'm out bush at the moment, photographing wildflowers, getting eaten alive by mozzies. And I've just stumbled across this beautiful orchid, guys. Look at that. Look at the bottom go up. This is a spider orchid. It's like a jumping spider orchid. That is absolutely beautiful, guys. Fortunately, I can't get much closer, but I've taken some photos, so I hope you, I hope they work out. It's the first orchid I've seen today. I just wanted to show you this guys, just here, this burnt patch here, and it's not the first one I've seen. This is from a lightning strike, and yeah, so there was a big um, banksia tree here, and it's been struck by lightning. You can just see just the circle where it's burnt guys, from a lightning strike. So the banksia tree would have been just here, and it's completely been burnt away. And just here, fellas, is another tree what's been destroyed by a lightning strike. So right now guys, I've just left that nice wide open space and I've just moved into this big patch of beautiful bush covered in an Australian species of uh, Banksia B-A-N-X-I-A -A. Absolutely beautiful flower You can just see those seed pods hanging down when they flower They're absolutely beautiful, but they're not in season at the moment But I'll show you a photo of what they look like so yeah, this is absolutely virgin terrain guys, untouched by man. Also looking out for, you know, bottles. And this area is where two famous explorers came through, I think in about 1856. So I'm just looking around guys, keeping my eye out, not having any luck to sell one shotgun shell so far. But anyway, we'll keep going. Not confident, but you never know guys. It's just a matter of walking exactly the right area, the right time. 